So what do you personally follow as a regime that you believe is going to help you to have that better quality life? Happiness, humor, live, love, laugh, learn. Yes. That's my motto every day. Yes. I have 12 rules uh, that I live by that mm -hmm. I've, I've developed from many different people, including some from you, yeah. uh, that I make sure that I do every day because these are my mainstays of keeping me on Yes. My, my balance, because it is, as I mentioned, all about balance and happiness. Yeah. Uh, you can break it down into buckets if you want. Of, there's the, this is nutrition, mm -hmm. this is my exercise, this is my sleep, this is my stress management, and this is everything else, including my supplements and my hormones. Yes. So when you look at this field of, of anti-aging and lifestyle medicine, is there a way with your software to help doctors to integrate this into your practice more effectively? I, I, I feel like a, a first time doctor comes and it's a little overwhelming to go from <laughs> what you mentioned, your average doctor has very little nutrition yeah. training. How do they know what tests to do? What supplements do they yeah. offer their patients? What hormones, what dosages? O over, overwhelming <laughs> is, is a kind word. It's, it's an kind understatement. Word because here I am 15 years later and I still hear people talk and I'm like, we still are on uh, you know, getting the next layer of this onion down and finding we we really the more you get into this, right? After 15 years, you the more you realize we don't know a lot. But what we do know, but what that's we do know is probably more important at this stage. But what you don't no, know, you have to you inform have to make, you people don't know, and be but aware. The, the amount that we do know is extremely powerful. Yes. You mentioned how the software helps clinicians and patients alike. In the field of lifestyle medicine, mm -hmm. there has not been yet developed a software platform that a physician could use in his office, which was an EMR, a patient management session, uh, system, a patient portal, how the exchange of communication can go on between the physician and patient because we know one thing for certain. The more time the patient has in contact with the healthcare provider, the more the patient absorbs by osmosis, by education, and by experience. So it's connecting those dots by giving the physician something that clinically is useful. So to run the practice, the integration with all the major labs, Quest, LabCorp, Genova, ZRT, the, the excessive number of supplement companies that we have in there, being able to compound medicine, e-prescribed medicine, schedule your patients, a library of information that you can share back and forth with your patients. Those are things that a clinician needs to run his office and his practice. But then it goes a step beyond that by providing that communication channel of being able to allow the practitioner to have more consistent in interaction with his patient, even through the system, which doesn't allow, which doesn't require the physician to do it on a daily basis. But it's looking like we're having this ongoing daily connection with this patient because the reminding of the patient in order to break an old habit, in order to establish new ones, takes a constant vigilance. When you look over your career, what legacy do you want to leave? That's a great question. Um, I would like to be one of the people that helps bring integrative lifestyle medicine out of more relative obscurity into more of a mainstream, uh, well-researched, well-respected, well-accepted field of medicine. And we've come a long way. I mean, the whole field and all, it, it would be very um, egotistical for us to say it's us, but there's been so many people sure. out in this industry that have worked so very hard for so many years to push this ball down the road. It's exciting for me to be here today at this point where integrated medicine is now a primary specialty by the American Board of uh, Physician Specialists, where now many number of uh, institutions, including George Washington University, is coming out with fellowships mm -hmm. in integrated medicine. So wow. the part of legacy I'd like to be involved in is a part of this ongoing movement. Yeah. So we believe that mentorship is important. And tell me the 10 mentors that you would point to that probably made a profound difference in your life. In the clinical world or in my personal life? Because 
I don't, I don't know which question you're asking. Let, let's start with the clinical and then we'll go to personal. That's the okay. clinical people that have made the greatest impact to me in my life was John Chagrin, who was my mentor in medical school. Mm -hmm. He was the dean of the medical school who retired and developed a, um, had one more rotation with some medical students. And he taught me one of the most valuable lessons in medicine. Um, and that was, number one, never surprise your patient. Number two, always be there when they be, get surprised. Um, that, that is how I formed my relationship with my patients from the very first. Um, that would be Pam Smith, uh, who I was very lucky to be involved with uh, in developing the fellowship of anti-aging that was developed in the early 2000s. Um, I would say Pat Hannaway, uh, who was a, who I always consider my go-to man for anything that I don't have a clue of what's going on. Uh, the man's wealth of knowledge, his depth is, is excessive. Um, Ron Rothenberg, uh, who taught me more about men's hormone than I, uh, he knows more than I've, I've, I've ever learned. Um, let me see. I'm late, I, I can save you for last, but you, you were integral for me at my clinical practice on uh -huh. highlighting for me the importance of nutrition and actually how simple it was. Yes. Because I wanted to make it, I wanted to make everything complex and mm -hmm. why didn't I know this? It must have been so complex and mm -hmm. it's really very simple. Right. You can learn all the biochemical pathways and I have. You can learn all the enzymes that are associated with all the, and I have. But that's mm -hmm. not what you need out of the gate. Right, so, right. The people who have influenced me in my personal life, mm -hmm. um, I, would, uh, I would say I have a, uh, my best friend who's 70. Uh, he's taught me so much about the happiness of living life. Yeah. Uh, my partner, Tim, who's showed me uh, the value of loving and laughing every day. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I'm, I'm a very lucky individual. I, I recently got married and I had 70 people in one room who've impacted my life over the course of my lifetime. Mm -hmm. And I was very, very grateful to have every one of them there. Social connection is so important. It's social too. network. You yeah. know, you ask the Blue Zone people and yeah. they'll tell you it's all about being connected. When we yeah. get older and we isolate, and even if you're not older, because there was a part of my time mm -hmm. in my life where I got so involved in work that I isolated myself from everything else and I ended up crashing hard and at one point I came and that's when I came and spent time with you to help dig myself out of that hole. And when you mentioned Blue Zone, for those who may not know, it's the longest lived people with the best it's quality the of life. It's the places around uh -huh. the earth that uh, have all the people who have gathered together who are in their 90s and early 100s and they tend to gravitate because they understand each other and those are the group of people that when interviewed, they have very nine simple rules of if you want to live a good and long life.